staff Roberto Mendoza certainly has a lot to celebrate these days, and so do those who depend on him for a hot meal. I feel wonderful to be a winner. He is now a quarter of a million dollars richer, thanks to the North Carolina Lottery. Roberto bought the winning $5 ticket after actually taking his mother's advice. When I scratch a boob, <laughs> you know, yeah, you never expect it. Yeah, honest to you, you never expect this stuff to happen. It, it happens. One could say he deserves the windfall. Every Saturday, Roberto, along with his family and volunteers, sets up shop here on a popular street corner in Charlotte. Rain or shine, he's there to serve food to people in need free of charge. When I come to them and I do it for them, it's like, oh my God, they, they hot me, they, they bless me, they, they play with me. So it's a, a, a really, really good feeling for, for them and for me. Roberto's upbringing in El Salvador sparked his will to help others. I grew up without mom and dad. They left me, I was by myself. So I went to bed hungry all day. And uh, like one o'clock in the morning, I said, at least a glass of water I'm gonna take. And when I opened the faucet, air came out because they shut the water off. I started to cry and cry and say, God, when I grow up, I don't want to suffer hunger again. Roberto came to the U.S., eventually becoming an executive chef at Queen's University of Charlotte. He has also prepared meals for some people you may recognize, Marla Maples, Condoleezza Rice, even former President Barack Obama. He now works for a food service company. Esto que están viendo aquí se llama Bitter Melon. During the holiday season five years ago, a light bulb went off. I start with my friends around, and, I, and for Thanksgiving, I say, is any way you can help me and donate me a turkey? So I ended up with 600 turkeys. Almost simultaneously, a volunteer who came to help him prep the birds led him to his next mission. And the same day, a lady, an old lady from Dominican Republic came over to my kitchen and helped me to, you know, prep the turkeys. And she said, it's, I, when she saw that much food, she said, um, I wish I can feed these little ones in, in, in this part of Dominican Republic. I said, don't worry about it. God and myself, we would do it together. Not long after, Roberto found himself in a small village in the Dominican Republic, toys, shoes, and food in tow. The reaction is, is, is like all happiness. I, I mean, they're all happy waiting for the toys, waiting for the food, because these people probably, they eat chicken once a year. Roberto plans to use some of his winnings to finish the cafeteria he started building in the DR so he could feed all 1,500 little mouths comfortably. Through it all, the true gift for Roberto is not the money, the food, or the accolades. If you thinking that you helping them, no, they helping you, telling you how much you have and how much God love you. For InsideEdition.com, I'm Stephanie Officer.